Hey everybody, welcome to our Simex uh, COVID triage tent simulation. So we've got a scenario here that we've put together um, that kind of takes place in an outdoor setting. You can see we're in a kind of parking lot. We've got some tents set up in a nice, probably Southern California location here to do some uh, outdoor testing uh, for uh, potential COVID patients. We've got a line of patients, patient probably inside the tent, so let's get started. Um, you can see first that uh, we have some droplet and some contact precautions. Um, so I need to put on my PPE. I'm going to get some hand sanitizer. Um, PPE wise, we've got our gown. Got to put that on. And then how about some gloves? And then for droplet and contact, um, I need some sort of mask and face shield or something. So uh, if it's just droplet, I can get away with just one of these masks. And then I think I have a face shield down here. Um, but, you know, uh, I don't know exactly how sick they are in here. And look, I've got something else in here that I can use. Um, I've got a papper. So I'm going to actually take this stuff off and just for funsies show you that I can put on this papper or capper, sorry, technically speaking. Um, why don't we just wear this for fun? All right. And then from there, I just go ahead and grab the, uh, the tent and do a flap here and I can go and see my patient. So let's do that. Okay, so as you can see, I'm now inside the tent and I've got my patient here who I should probably talk to, but I'm gonna hold off just a second on that. Hi, sir. Ah. All right, before I go any further though, I wanna introduce you guys to the, the set of tools we have. We're fairly limited here in our tent. Um, we've got, we do have an EMR tablet, yay technology. And I can see I've got a gentleman here who's got some diabetes and some hypertension. Looks like some fever and sore throat and dry cough uh, going on. So we'll talk to him a little bit more about that. And then we've got some tools like a stethoscope. We've got a blood pressure cuff, my pulse ox, we have a little Tylenol, another hand sanitizer, and some swabs to do presumably a COVID test. So let's, let's find out what's going on. Um, so again, sir, uh, hi, I'm Dr. Shri. I'm here to help you out today. What brings you in today? I think I've had a fever for a couple of days and I started coughing yesterday. Okay, so fever for a couple of days, huh? Any shortness of breath? No. Good, okay. And um, have you had any sick contacts or anything like that? Yeah, my teenage son had a cough. Okay, okay. Um, and then, is he better yet, or is that still going on? I don't know. Hmm. Okay. So you, you might still have residual. We'll have to see. Okay. And then, um, have you been traveling anywhere? Like any hotspots? No. Where are the travel hotspots you're talking about? Well, I mean, you know, places like Italy and, and Wuhan, China, and then also Spain now. But honestly, uh, also New York and Chicago and Washington. Uh, it's kind of all over the country, um, but you haven't been traveling anywhere recently? No. Okay, good. All right. Any other symptoms of illness? Any nausea, vomiting, diarrhea, anything like that? No. The cough okay. is pretty dry. Okay. Just this dry cough and the fever, is that right? Yes. Okay. Well, um, let's, uh, let's go ahead and figure out what your vital signs are here. So I'm going to Go ahead and slap this pulse ox on you and get a quick blood pressure here. Uh, let me see here. Oh, looks like heart rate 96 and saturating 99%. Uh, 97, 98. Okay, good. Blood pressure is running. Let's do a quick heart and lung exam here. Okay. Well, um, your lungs sound really good and your oxygen and your heart rate are good. And your blood pressure was like one, almost 120 over 80, almost perfect. So that's great. Um, so you look good overall. Okay, sir. Okay. Thanks. 
Yeah, but I will say, you know, I saw that you had the diabetes and the high blood pressure. So I think uh, given that your son's coughing and, you know, everything, and you've been having a fever and cough, I do think we should go ahead and, and check you for the COVID virus here. So I'm going to grab my, grab my swab kit here. So I've got my test tube and my swab, and I'm just going to do a quick, go ahead and open your mouth for me. There you go. Swab there, and then one in the nose as well. I'm sorry. Okay, put that away. Pop that in our biohaz bag, and we'll, we'll take those for testing later. So that test will come back in about one day-ish. Could be a little bit of a delay if you know, the lab gets backed up. Might be a couple days. And we'll call you with the result, okay? Okay. Should my family get tested? Well, um, you know, your son, it sounds like he just has a cough. So if he, if he certainly he's feeling a lot worse, it's something to consider. But generally right now we have a limited number of tests. And because you're, you know, in your 50s and you have um, the diabetes and the hypertension is why we're testing you. Um, unless your son's feeling a lot worse, we probably wouldn't be able to test him. Okay. Now, if your wife gets ill, then she should certainly give us a call. Uh, either her regular doctor or come and we can, we can check her out, okay? Okay. Can I still go to the grocery store? Well, actually, no. Uh, right now, uh, we need to have just your wife go to the grocery store, and you and your son should actually isolate yourselves at home. Uh, I would recommend um, you, especially with the fever, isolate yourself uh, in your bedroom, at least for the next couple of days, um, until we get this result back. Um, in the meantime, you know, if you leave the bedroom, you want to be wearing a mask and washing your hands as soon as you leave, so you don't get your wife sick or your son, in case you didn't get this from him. Um, okay. All right. And then uh, if the test comes back negative, then as soon as you're symptom free for three days, you can, you can head out um, back to kind of regular activity. Um, and then if the test comes back positive, you know, you're going to want to isolate for 14 days and probably uh, three days of symptom free before you can go out and about. Okay. Yes. Shouldn't I get more tests done? My friend got an x-ray at least. Well, so that's true. Like we could do x-rays and CTs and, and lab tests and things like that. But you're actually, your uh, blood pressure was great. Your heart rate was great. Your oxygen was great. And your lungs sound great. So at this time, you know, the majority of people still, even with this coronavirus, do fine. It's just like a bad flu with 10 days of fevers and chills and cough and cold. And then they're fine. Um, so hopefully you'll be in that category. So I don't think we have to do more tests just yet. Okay? Okay. Thanks. All right. Any other questions, sir? No. Okay, great. Well, um, I'm going to go ahead and let you get out of here. And like I said, we'll call you back in a couple of days with this test result. And we need you to be isolated until then, okay? Yes. Thanks. All right. So that's the end of our COVID simulation. Um, so at this point, you know, I'd take off my PP. I wouldn't throw away my paper, obviously. I might take off my gown and gloves and go on my way and call the next patient over and, uh, and whatnot. Um, so I will see you guys next time. Uh, thanks again from Simex.